Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Sharita, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for supporting my channel. All right, you guys, today is gonna be a good one. We are getting all into what I consider to be some of the best vanilla fragrances on the market, okay? Now, when I say vanilla, I don't mean, okay, this fragrance has lots of vanilla. No, these fragrances have major vanilla, okay? Main notes of vanilla. So, if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in hearing more about, then just keep watching. Now first, I need you to stop and drop it in the comments below. What is your favorite vanilla fragrance, okay? What is your vanilla holy grail? If you do not have one, I'm so glad you tuned into this video because we're about to get you one today, okay? Okay, you guys, so as we know, vanilla is that perfect year around scent. But I decided to do this video because vanilla feels especially comforting and warm in the colder months. So as we approach fall and winter, I'm going to try to lay out some really vanilla forward scents that I feel like will fit any type of fragrance lover. So if you don't like it too sweet, if you like it sugary sweet, I feel like this list will have something for you because if you do not have a vanilla bomb in your collection, you're really missing out. Vanilla is just a very crowd pleasing scent. It is no secret as to why it is found in so many different fragrances, okay? Vanilla is the one note that I feel like could never be off putting, okay? I can't speak for everyone, but if you walk into work, never <laughs> will you experience this. Who in the hell is that smelling like vanilla? That's not gonna happen, okay? Now, anything else you can think of can possibly be off putting to people. Too heavy on the rolls, too much patchouli, too spicy, too sweet too um, too powdery. Like people are off put by so many things, but I feel like vanilla is just going to be that safe note. So without further ado, let's get into this list. All right, you guys, so the first one on this list is going to be none other than the Gorgeous Gentle Fluidity Gold by Maison Francis Kirkshawn, okay? This scent is just going to be this beautiful, airy, ambery, woody vanilla. This I recommend for the girl who just does not like super sweet. To me, this is not super sweet. The vanilla is beautiful, it's robust, but it is blended so well with the amber and the musk and, oh my goodness, it's so gorgeous and the juniper berries, okay? So you're gonna get a little sweetness between the juniper berries and the vanilla, but trust me, it is a gorgeous, ambery, woody scent. It's perfectly unisex, but women really, really, really love the gold edition. They have a silver and a gold. The silver, to most people, leans a little masculine. The gold leans a little bit more feminine. This is just beautiful, signature scent worthy vanilla, okay? It's appropriate for any time, any place, date night, church, brunch, work. It doesn't matter. Gentle fluidity gold can go with you wherever you go, okay? So if you've never smelled it, definitely try to get your nose on it because it's absolutely stunning. Okay, you guys, so the next one is going to be from the House of Guerlain and that is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain, okay? This fragrance is very vanilla heavy. This is going to be for the individual that wants something just a little bit more in your face. This scent is very lavender heavy. It is very feminine. It's got some sweetness to it, but lavender is just not a common note found in feminine fragrances. That is why this scent is just so beautiful, special, and unique to me because the way they have blended this with that vanilla. Oh my goodness. 
It's stunning. Um, oh. If you enjoy a sweet vanilla, if you enjoy lavender in general, not necessarily in fragrances, if you enjoy lavender in general, you will probably like this scent. I have recommended this to so many other women for blind buys, safe blind buys, and they always love it. Um, I just, it's a crowd pleasing scent. It's very feminine, sophisticated. I feel very put together, classy, and again, signature scent worthy. So definitely get it on your radar if you've never experienced Mongolan. Very accessible and affordable in my opinion right, you guys and so the next one is also from the same house of Guerlain and this is from the nose of the man himself John Paul Guerlain and this is Spiritueuse de Bleu Vigny. and this is for so many frag heads a vanilla holy grail it's not personally my vanilla holy grail we'll get to her in a minute but this is beautiful vanilla incense woody it is so powdery and sensual and it's a deep vanilla so it's going to be amazing in fall and winter okay this wears closer to the skin which is why i feel like it's so ideal for say like a date night okay cozying up at home with your significant other you're going to smell absolutely stunning it's so beautiful. It is not overly sweet. It has a little bit of sweetness to it because of that vanilla, but it's not overly sweet because you have the cedar, you have the jasmine, you have the rose, the incense, okay? The benzoin, all of these things are coming to just create this beautifully blended vanilla forward fragrance. Absolutely stunning. All right, you guys. And this next one is no stranger to the channel, honey. I had to include Vanilla 28 by Kaylee. This is going to be the fragrance that is very affordable in my opinion compared to some of the others we've mentioned today. This scent is very sweet. So if you do not like it, sweet, sweet, you may not like this, but you can still use this to layer. This, I just get straight up vanilla brown sugar, okay? The actual notes are gonna be your Madagascar vanilla. You've got tonka bean. You've also got a little jasmine in here. Again, very sweet. It's got a little musk to it, a touch of amber. It is absolutely gorgeous and it is one that layers well with so many other fragrances. Vanilla in general does, but I find that this one it doesn't have too many complexities to it. You're just getting a huge vanilla vibe. So you're not going to have things, you're not gonna have a lot of competing notes if you do decide to layer this particular vanilla scent. That's why I love it for layering, but it is absolutely amazing on its own. Men love this scent and I feel just so pretty and feminine and kind of delicious when I wear this one. So definitely, a star to me in the vanilla world and it's k ali vanilla 28. okay you guys so the next one is going to be orchidy vanille by van cleef and arpels this is so beautiful this is a vanilla forward scent however what makes it so special is that it has this chocolatey powdery note to it okay so it's almost like you're getting this vanilla cocoa scent and it's also balanced with a little bit of um orange so for those who do not like chocolate greedy okay by montal i totally understand if it's if it's you know not your vibe um but this one you should definitely try because this is going to give you that chocolate essence with that orange just as the chocolate greedy does but this is, it's lighter, okay? This is a more intimate scent. This is much more vanilla. Um, this is, the vanilla is much more the star of the show compared to the chocolate greedy. And it is just absolutely stunning. You also have orchid, uh, vanilla orchid in this one, as you do with the Kaoli. But this is going to give you gourmand, but not overly sweet, okay? This one is 
something I feel like you can actually wear year round if you want it to because it's not going to be glowing. This is just beautiful. Okay, beautiful vanilla fragrance. Okay, you guys, so this next one is what I consider to be my holy grail vanilla scent. Now, a little backstory. I used to moonlight as a custom cake designer, okay? I grew up baking with my mom who's been a baker all of her life, okay? Something about that moment when you add the vanilla extract to the cake. This is when the cake comes together in my opinion, okay? I have seen my mom literally toss out an entire cake because she forgot the vanilla. So it is no surprise why vanilla is seriously a note found in so many fragrances, okay? It can literally bring the entire scent together. This particular vanilla fragrance is my holy grail because this in my mind is a confection, okay? Confectioner's vanilla. So many people say that about Spirit Sweet's uh, Double Vanille and I disagree. That is not a confection vanilla to me, okay? This Tahota by Indult is true vanilla. And it is no surprise why I'm so in love with it. This is from the nose of Maison Francis Kirkjean. My favorite nose, okay? I bought this not even knowing that. No wonder this is such a brilliant scent. This has some vanilla. It has the woods in there, okay? But what you're getting from this is this beautiful sugar, but you've got an abundance of what I feel to be just true vanilla. This scent, if you have never smelled it, honey, and you love vanilla, mm -hmm. you must get your nose on it, okay? Let me read you the notes. Okay, so the notes for Tehota are vanilla bean, you've got cane sugar, cream, almond milk accord, tonka bean, benzoin absolute, you have Palo Santo, white woods, white musk, and amber. So you've got these woods and ambers, but they are very, very light, okay? They don't come in and, um, you know, get on the same plane as the vanilla as, say, the Spiritualist Double Me. This, the vanilla is the star of the show. Everything else is very much so in the background. This is, is the true <laughs> of a vanilla scent, in my opinion, as you can get. This is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a for lifer. I mean, I can't get enough of it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it and by far my favorite vanilla scent so far. Okay, you guys, and the last one in this list is a designer fragrance, okay? This is newer on my radar. It's been out for some time, it's not new, but you know how I'm about designer scents. Uh, I'm always apprehensive, but every now and then I'll give it a try. And I was <laughs> thoroughly impressed with this one. And I am talking about La Nuit Treasure à la Folie by Lancôme. Honey, let me tell you, if you can't get your hands on Spiritual Weeds Double V, don't even fret. This will get you almost there, okay? On my skin, this dries down so, so, so close to the same sense as Spirit, Spirit Tweets. And let me tell you why. They have so many notes in common. They both have pink pepper, bergamot, rose, benzoin, amber, bourbon vanilla, and tonka bean. So upon the dry down, they really, really start to smell very similar. They're not twins, but they are definitely sisters, okay? So if you cannot get your hands on something as pricey as this, try the Lancome, okay? Because it's absolutely stunning. This is a gorgeous vanilla scent. Got the floral notes in the heart. You have all the delicious vanilla and benzoin and amber in the base. And it just gives you the most beautiful, sensual, sexy vanilla fragrance. Um, at a fraction, <laughs> of the cause of the Guerlain for sure. Now, if I had to describe what I feel to be the differences between the two fragrances, 
Double veneer is going to have less of a floral presence, okay? The Lancome is going to be for the girl who enjoys her florals just a little bit more. Um, it's a little sweeter, but they are similar, okay? And just both beautiful. Um, I've been testing this one out for the past month through my Royalty Sense subscription, and it is absolutely uh, getting upgraded to full bottle and added to my collection because I think the scent is just absolutely beautiful and very, very heavy on the vanilla. All right, you guys, so that is our vanilla video for today. Please, before you go, drop it in the comments below. Let me know your favorite vanilla fragrance, okay? And please consider subscribing. Join my little family here on YouTube. If you found any value in the content, give the video a big thumbs up as it does help my channel to grow. And I will catch you on the next one.